All right guys, we have got another tier list for you today. And today I have put together a tier list with every sneaker brand I could find. I went on StockX, I went on multiple pages telling me the top 20 best sneakers of 2024. And that is what we're talking about today. I will say specifically, this tier list is about 2024 and that's it. And also, this is my opinion, but I actually want to hear what you guys think. So if you are if you disagree, if you think I missed something, if you think I got something wrong, if I forgot about a big situation that I missed, put it in the comments below. Let me know what I missed. Let me know how wrong I am, in your opinion, and I'll share with you mine. So let's get into it. Here's the tier list right here. Um, now, I've made this myself and... This is honestly like, if I forgot a big brand, let me know, but I'm pretty sure this is it. There's a couple of brands that do a lot of collabs, but they're not actually the shoe manufacturer. So I tried to kind of keep it to the shoe manufacturers only. And again, remember, we're only talking about 2024 here. Now we have four, we have five tiers. I didn't go with the S to D like usual because it didn't feel right. I have got the S tier, which is crushing it now this these brands any brand that's up here is absolutely crushing it this year like they're doing great collabs they're making things that are interesting they're causing a bit of a scene in the industry next up we've got up and comers now this might be a brand that isn't necessarily crushing it right now but i'm thinking i'm putting my money on them kind of crushing it next year so it's not necessarily better or worse or anything like that it's just that like maybe they're not quite there yet and that's the direction that we're heading Third tier, not impressing me, okay? Now, again, this isn't necessarily top to bottom, best to worst. Not impressing me is exactly what it sounds like. This could be a big brand that just hasn't lived up to their level this year, okay? So, exactly what it sounds like. The brand's not impressing me. Number four, heading down. It's the opposite of the up and comer. It is a brand that seems to be on the downslide rather than on the build up. I don't know. I haven't thought beyond, I haven't actually thought about who's going to go where here. We're just going to go for it. Uh, and then the fifth tier, what are they doing right now? What the heck is happening? Don't know. That's, I don't know who's going in that tier. Maybe nobody, but we're going to find out. All right, there's no particular order. In fact, they've sorted themselves into alphabetical, I believe. So we're going to start off with Adidas. Now, the only caveat to this whole list here, the only thing that I put on here that I think doesn't exactly belong like everything else does is Yeezy here. Yeezy is not a shoe manufacturer. They actually partner with Adidas to make shoes. So I have separated them because I think it's big enough as a brand that it can be separated. It can be completely its own thing, even though it's actually not. So I will say that. So when I talk about Adidas, I am not talking about Yeezy. Um, now Adidas, I know they're popular, right? I know that they're a huge brand right now. And the only thing that keeps them out of not impressing me is that everyone's wearing the Sambas right now. And I think that they're really cool. And there's a few other ones. The Forum is kind of, he's kind of doing the thing. Uh, there's that other one, that chunky one that I can't remember its name. They're, they're doing some things. <sighs> This is, I guess, where the tier list kind of falls down a little bit because are they an up and comer? No. Adidas, you have to hold them to a high standard. And so for now, they're gonna go in not impressing me. Even though I really love their shoes, trust me, I have a few pairs, I love them. I know this is maybe a controversial start, but besides the Samba right now that is crushing, what else are they really doing? I'm not sure. Okay, next up, we've got ASICS. Now, ASICS is actually, I'm just putting them in the middle here just while I talk about them. They're actually having a big year this year. They have done some big collabs. Now, I don't know specifically 2024, but we're definitely talking about this timeline right now. ASICS is doing some big things. I actually think that they are actually probably in the crushing it range. They're not an up and comer. I would have said last year or the year before they were an up and comer. But I think they're on the come up. I think this is it. I think this could be their year. And whether they can maintain that or not, that's on them. I'm not sure. That's on them. But I think I'm going to give ASICS crushing it right now. they got some good stuff coming out. If I can be bothered, I'll put some videos, I'll put some photos on the video uh, when I edit it to kind of show you what I'm thinking about while I'm talking about it. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about 
ASICs right now. I think they've got a lot of great collabs right now. I think they're making waves. I think they're doing great things. Okay, next up, Balenciaga. Balenciaga, if you don't know, is a luxury brand. They're a streetwear brand. They're definitely a luxury brand. I would say shoes is not their specialty. And I would also say that I don't think it's the time for luxury brands right now. So I am gonna say, what are they doing? Because there's been a time, if you go back a few years, they had the Triple S, I think it was called. They are releasing things you see with the kind of giant soles, big chunky shoes, and they are putting out some really cool stuff, really interesting stuff. Um, I don't think it's fair to say they're heading down. I just think that it's just not the time for luxury sneakers right now. That's what I'll say, that's all. All right, next up, we've got Converse. Now, Converse are a staple. Converse are the shoe that you put on when you don't know what to put on. For me, I kind of always have one pair of cons on rotation, uh, and then eventually I absolutely wear them to death. They get holes in them, they get destroyed, and they get donated and I buy a new pair. That's what, that's what Converse is to me. Now, are they doing anything interesting this year? I don't think so. I don't think they're doing anything new at all that I can think of. I can't think of any collabs they've done. I can't think of anything that's new that's come out. And so I can't put Converse in the what are they doing right now because they're still making a phenomenal shoe. They're just not impressing me. I think that's the right category. They are a great staple. I think everyone should have one. One Chuck Taylor that gets absolutely destroyed over you know six months or a year or however long you need. But they're not doing anything that's impressing me. So there you go. Converse, not impressing me. Crocs, hmm. Crocs is weird, right? They're like the only one on this list, I think, that isn't actually, they're not actually like a sneaker, but they've been doing some really interesting stuff right now. And in uh, over the last couple of years, they've done some interesting collabs. The thing about Crocs is I would actually say they're potentially close to in the heading down, um, except that they have been doing collabs recently um, Slayi Bembry, I'm not sure when this came out, if it was this year or not, but Slayi Bembry, the designer, he has got a shoe with Crocs, which is really cool. So they are doing great things, but maybe they peaked. Maybe they peaked like 12 to 18 months ago and they're on the way down. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put him in heading down. I don't necessarily think that they need to stay on that trajectory. I just think right now at this point in time, I think back maybe like 12 months ago and I think they were a lot more popular. I still think they're very popular, certainly they're a great shoe, but I think you're heading down Crocs. Okay, Fear of God. Now, Fear of God does make shoes. This is not the Adidas uh, Fear of God Athletics shoes. Uh, this is the Fear of God shoes and that is gonna put them in a similar place to Balenciaga in that they are a luxury streetwear brand. And I don't know if people are buying luxury sneakers right now. I mean, I'm definitely not because I don't have like I don't know, $700 for a pair of shoes, um, unless, well, I don't, I don't, I don't at all. They're not making collabs. Adidas does have the Fear of God uh, athletics side to it, but I feel like even that, like you're not really seeing it out and about. Like I think they're really cool, but I'm not buying them and I'm not seeing them either. So I'm gonna have to put them in the, what are they doing right now? In the sneakers category. In the apparel category, probably a completely different story. But as far as sneakers go, I've seen that they're doing the slides. I think they're called maybe Californias or something. They have a few, they have like a skate shoe. They have a couple of sneaker shoes. But I don't think I've barely ever seen them in the wild. Now, there was a while ago where Fear of God did collab with Nike. Currently, they're doing collabs with Adidas. Different things. Different things. And also, they're not current. So, can't speak to that. Only speak to their current stuff and... I don't know, what are they doing? What are they doing right now? I don't know. Okay, Hoka. Now Hoka is so interesting to me because they are, I think that they're just like predominantly a running brand but have somehow snuck their way into the sneaker collab world. So Hoka, if you don't know, I don't I don't know when it released but they did a collab with Nicole McLaughlin um, who is this wild designer. She's so cool, she does really rad stuff and she made a like an off, I don't know what you call it, like an off-road sneaker with Hoka and it's sick, okay? 
And so, but using the, the guide that I've got here, I actually think Hoka is going in the up and comer because they are absolutely not a hype brand at all. Like you can get you can get these shoes from like nearly any shop and there'll be plenty of them and they just cost what they should cost because they're pretty much runners. Uh, but they are sneaking in collaborations with great designers, small designers too, which I think is really cool. And so what I think that means is that if they keep kind of doing that, they're going to end up doing something similar to what ASICS has done and they're kind of going to pop out of nowhere and people will be wearing hokers as more like hypey sneaker kind of shoes as well as the runners, which oh, by the way, all the runners are going to be like, oh, we've been wearing these for years. They're running shoes and all the sneaker guys will be like, oh yeah, but they're cool now. That's just what's going to happen. I think hoker in the next two years is going to be bigger than they've ever been. They're definitely up and comers for sure. Okay, Jordan Brand. Now, Jordan Brand is undeniably one of the biggest brands in the sneaker world. Like, they just keep releasing and re-releasing and re-releasing and releasing things that they have had forever. Like, the Jordan 1 is like a 40-year-old shoe that they just keep bringing out new ones of. And most of the time, they kind of hit. Jordan 2, no one really cares about. 3, 4, they've got a lot of brands that people... They've got a lot of shoes that people really like. But this year, mm, it's so tricky because I feel like they bring out so many shoes that some of them are massive hits. Like I think they had Sneaker of the Year last year on Complex with the Jordan 4 skate shoe one, the, the SB. But I just don't know what they've done this year that's like blowing anyone away. Besides Travis Scott collabs, which honestly I think is awesome and I think that they're crushing it but I I don't think that you can put the whole brand on the back of Travis and be like yeah the Travis shoes are doing well so it's a good brand I don't know I actually am gonna say they're not impressing me they are impressing me more than Converse and that's where they belong right there in the middle because the thing is about these brands is right they, they this is like got to be one of the top two kind of brands in the world, right? Like it's kind of like Nike, Adidas, Jordan. They're all kind of like, this is the top. You got to hold these guys to a high standard. And are they doing anything super interesting and new and innovative and making waves? I don't know. I don't know. I'm putting them in not impressing me. That's how I feel about it. Again, I want this to be an ongoing discussion. So put in the comments below if there's anything that you think if you think it's different, let me know. Let me know where you'd put it. I don't know how you put that in the comments, but put it in there. If you see one that someone's put in there that you like, a good take, let me know just by liking it or whatever. All right, New Balance. Okay. I feel an affinity towards New Balance. I think that New Balance is crushing it. And I think I have to put them at number one. New Balance has done so many collabs this year in, and in the last like two to three years. It's crazy and they're really good. They actually are using crazy colors. They're bringing out like new, either new um, designs. This is what Jordan Brand's not doing. They're bringing out new designs or they're bringing back out old ones that people don't even remember. Like a few years ago when they brought back the 550. Um, you know, the 1906, I feel like no one even could tell you what the 1906 was until this year. And then all of a sudden everyone's got 1906s. It's crazy. They are doing crazy things. 2002s are like a staple now. Like they're not quite like the Samba staple, but they're just like a shoe that everyone has their hands on because they can. And even the even the standard New Balances that are coming out, like the 2002s and the 1906s, if you go online right now, you can buy a pair and they have really great colorways without any collabs. And they're also doing great collabs at the same time. They've got people like Joe Fresh Goods. Um, they are doing great I'll, I'll put them on the screen for New Balance. They are doing great collabs this year. They're crushing it. I think New Balance and ASICS right now, and it's funny because you can see how they're like quite a similar style. I think that they're crushing it right now. That's what I think. Okay, Nike. Obviously the biggest player in the game. Or at least, you know, they're always in the top three. They're always going to be up there as far as what you're thinking about. When you think sneakers, when you think in hype, what do you think with Nike? Now, we have to think about this year specifically and we have to remember Jordan Brand is not Nike. Nike, Jordan Brand, separate things, okay? 
So what is Nike actually doing that isn't Jordan brand? That's what I want to know. And to be honest, I don't know. They've released heaps of dunks, heaps. And I don't really know what else they're doing. Everything else I can think of is a Jordan. Um, they do have a cool one coming out. I actually can't remember the name of half of these, which is probably something to be saying. Um, I think that Nike right now, specifically, is also not impressing me. I think that they're going below Adidas because they don't even have the Samba to kind of lean on. They've got the Dunk, but I think even the Dunk is kind of like dying right now. People like it, trust me, it is a staple, I should say. People love the Dunk. Samba, Dunk, Converse All-Star, Jordan, whatever. These are all staples, but they're not super impressing me. I think that this is gonna be the most controversial one and I'm here for it in the comments. If you wanna let me know what it is that Nike's done that is impressive, they're never gonna be up and comer anyway, so it's kind of the wrong category. They're either crushing it or they're not impressing, okay? That's kind of the options. That's the kind of two options that you're gonna get. So let me know what you guys think. I think at the moment, they're not really impressing me that much. Like, in fact, I might even put them below Jordan because Jordan is doing things still. They do have the Travis brand. You know, they did release the new shoe, that, that Travis's actual new shoe. But besides that, I just don't know. I don't know, like you gotta hold, it, these, these three brands here, I think are pretty much un undoubtedly the biggest three. And you gotta hold them to a high standard. If they're not innovating new things, I don't really know what they're doing. Um, all right, next up, we have got Off-White. Now, Off-White, they're gonna, they're gonna fall into a similar trap that we've seen already. We've got Balenciaga and Fear of God, the luxury streetwear brands. And I think it's kind of like, what are they doing right now? I just don't think it's the year for luxury street brands. I just don't think it's gonna happen. I'm leaving it at that. Off-white, that's where you are. On, I don't even know what you do. I don't know what you do. I think you make golf shoes, I think you make runners, maybe like hiking shoes specifically. Um, I was surprised to see, I got most of these brands off StockX website. I just went to like trending brands and I just picked all the top ones and I just got the logos for all of them. And I was surprised to see on there, on, on there. I don't know. I honestly don't know what you're doing. So that's all I got for that. All right, Puma, it's just not your time. What are you doing? I don't know. You, I can't say you're heading down because you haven't been up. Now, I know this is harsh and look, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as Reebok right here. I know this is harsh, but it's just not their time right now. Now, Puma and Reebok both have very important historical pasts, like similar to New Balance, similar to uh, Adidas, Nike, Converse, they all have athletics, um, basketball, important pasts, and they have been big. They have had big times. Puma actually has done collabs this year. I just don't, I'm just not rating them personally. I just don't know what they're doing. I, I can't say they're heading down and they're definitely not heading up right now. I think we'll look back at this list in like three or four years and we will say Puma's up here, up and coming, all crushing it. Wouldn't surprise me, same with Reebok, okay? But right now, that's just how they are right now. That's just how it is. Solomon, Solomon pretty, let me think about this, but at the moment, I'm gonna put them at the top of the up and comers because I think that they're so underrated as a shoe brand right now that, you know, I've said a few times, the big three, the big three or four, you need to hold them to a high standard. Solomon are kind of like this like understated thing. I mean, I don't know if it's just here in Australia or what, but like people don't even know this brand exists. And even I only got my first ever pair recently and they're probably the most comfortable shoes I've ever bought in my life. They're so cool. The style is one that uh, brands like Nike are kind of like not copying, but being like inspired by at the moment uh, to create. I think that the shape of the Solomon shoe, and I will put a photo up for you guys to see, is one that we're gonna see a lot of shoes running into soon. The New Balance 1000, also quite similar. There's a lot of uh, silhouettes that are actually very similar to what Solomon is making. That's really cool. I don't know if they're doing collabs. They did the collab with the Hidden New York guys, um, which is, I don't even think an official thing. Like, I think it's official, but I think that it's not, um, I don't think it's like mass market. Like, I don't think you can just buy it. Um, but yeah, I actually think that they're definitely an up and comer. I think you're gonna see a lot more Solomon. If I was buying shares in a sneaker brand right now, 
it would be these two. I feel good about that. And I think that Solomon is, it's coming, it's coming up. Okay, Under Armour, uh, shout out to Steph Curry and all his fans. Um, I don't know what they do besides that. They're in a similar world to me as like on. They just, I just don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Vans, Vans is like Converse, right? But they, they haven't sustained it somehow. Like the Vans, I don't even remember what you call it, but like the classic Vans. Might even be called the classic. I can't remember. Uh, it is a staple shoe, but it hasn't done what Converse has done. It hasn't stood the test of time. It is on its way down. Vans, again, another brand similar to these two. Vans is close to being in the bottom, by the way, but it does have a huge history. It's got a huge history in skateboarding, and I think it's a very important brand. I do think it's similar to Converse in that it's, it has staple shoes that people wear every day, all the time, but specifically Vans right now, I don't see them. I don't know who's wearing them, but I do think similar to these other guys, again, I do think they'll have their time. I just don't think that it's right now. That's for sure. All right, and last up, we've got Yeezy. Yeezy is such an interesting one because Yeezy is a brand that is headed up by a big name. Obviously, Kanye, he's got lots of controversy around him and his shoes right now, I'm pretty sure Adidas are, if it was legal to burn shoes, I think they would just burn them all. But because it will be a huge political environmental issue, great, great decision, by the way. Uh, they're not. They're just selling them for like dirt cheap. So I'm saying Yeezy are uh, heading down because we know what they're doing. They're making shoes. People love the shoes. It's just that because they've been attached to an icon, they lose their value. People don't want to wear them if the person that uh, basically designed them is representing things they don't want to represent. So I think I'm speaking on behalf of the masses there. I think that's pretty much what's happening. I mean, if you're in the US, you can buy Yeezys at the like Adidas factory outlet because they need to get rid of them for whatever price they can. They're just trying to get them out the door because they don't want anything to do with it either. So Yeezy is heading down and in a big way they're heading down. So let's have a quick look here. Let's have a quick look just to wrap it all up. We've got New Balance and Asics crushing it right now. I think that's fair. I think that's really fair. In the up and comers, we've got Solomon and Hoka. Now this, again, if you're buying stocks of sneakers, if you're buying sneakers, you wanna get some cheap, or maybe not even necessarily cheap, but just like, if you wanna be kind of like ahead of the game, I think this is the world you wanna be looking at. If not, just seeing what these guys are doing on the cutting edge. Not impressing me right now. Interestingly, now I didn't think about this at all before, uh, before I went into this. I just put all the brands in. I didn't have any thought about it. But it's interesting that these are basically the four biggest brands in the sneaker industry. And none of them are really impressing me right now. Now, again, I need to give credit to the Samba right now. I think it's having a huge moment, but I can't put the whole brand on its back and put it in the crushing it. That shoe specifically is crushing it. The rest of the brand, I don't know. I don't know. Jordan, same thing. Nike, Converse, same thing. Converse is in here because they have a staple. They have a great shoe. It's a shoe that, I don't know. I feel like for like 15 years, I've been wearing this shoe and I've just always had one perpetually getting destroyed and then getting replaced and then getting destroyed again. And somehow they've done what Vans hasn't done and they've stayed up there. On the way down, Crocs. Now, I, I like Crocs, but I just think that they have had their moment and I think they're on the way down. Vans, honestly, maybe they need to be down here. Maybe they need to be down here. Yeezy, it's heading down and it's heading down fast, like it's kind of already gone. What are they doing right now? Balenciaga, Fear of God, Off-White, Vans, Puma, Reebok, Under Armour, and on. All right, so there you go. That's my opinion. That's the tier list. That's what we've got. Now, I do want this to be a conversation. So if you disagree with anything, if you agree with anything, let me know. Put it in the comments below. And if you see a comment that you agree with, why don't you like that as well? Then we can kind of get a bit of a gauge of where we're at with it. But like I said, it's my opinion on these things. Happy for it to be different. And we're specifically talking about this year as well right here, which is 2024. I'm recording this in August. So there you go. Hopefully you guys like that. If you did, why don't you watch another video? There's one right here that YouTube thinks that you're gonna like. Otherwise, you should subscribe. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. If you wanna subscribe, click on this thing. Oi, no way. Dominic, shout out you. Literally just subscribe while I was pointing at it. That's awesome. If you wanna be like Dominic, subscribe and your name will pop up there. That's sick, that's so awesome. All right, 
I'll see you soon.